can I just start this video by asking you guys a very simple question. Why? <laughs> And welcome back to another Minecraft map video. As Yay! you can tell by the thumbnail and of course the title, today we are doing parkour. Why have you made me do this? Can I just say, I'm a res donor. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm used to pistons. I'm used to observers, repeaters, RS null latches, T flip flops, not whatever you call this. <laughs> now, funny enough, do I like park? Was he just staring? Why is he staring at me? <laughs> okay. Oh no, another one. No, okay. No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um. <laughs> Getting back to the topic of the video, parkour. Do I like parkour? Yes, I do. Do I play a lot of parkour? No. Am I good at parkour? No, this is way out of my comfort zone. Now the map we're going to be playing today is called The Grid and you can find the link to it in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Okay, so we are finally here. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> so first of all, credits. Who do we have to credit? So a massive thank you to all these lovely people. I'm not going to even try to pronounce your names because I'll probably butcher them. So just a massive credit to all these people. Now just before we start, let's just take a quick look at the info. So that's the website. Oh, more maps. Ooh, okay. If it's good, I'll definitely check that out. And their Twitter as well. Click to activate Chicky's Egg Challenge. Read book first. Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and find them, but um, I'm not too bothered if I don't because I think the parkour is going to be hard enough. Okay, let's go. That's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> let's go. Sky games, high quality builds and minigames. Wow. The grid. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> I love it already. So, oh, Chicky's Egg. Why am I, why was that in slow motion? What the? <laughs> why is it slow? That's really strange. <laughs> Okay, that's very odd. Um. Ooh, okay. Up here? Aha, through here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, I actually have tried to record... Ooh, eggs. Is there going to be eggs around here? No. Aha! Now, I actually have recorded parkour videos before, but I've never uploaded them. Basically because... I enjoy the first about 20 minutes and then I just run out of things to say. <laughs> That's basically the truth. I just don't know what to say and then I end up waffling and it's just not very good. <laughs> it doesn't sound very professional at all. So um, this time, what I've, what I've done is I've taken to Twitter. Oh, there's another one. And also YouTube to give me basically topics or questions that you'd like me to answer whilst I do the parkour. Uh, over here. Oops. Good start. <laughs> So hopefully we won't have any of me rambling. We we'll, mm, we'll just have nice amount of questions to get through. Hopefully, ah, oh, that's better. I'll just uh, I'll get on with those in a second. Okay, any egg here? Aha! Brilliant. <laughs> Bef before we actually get into the questions, I just want to say a huge thank you for the amazing response to my last video where I asked for your builds. I was shocked by how many, um... oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was shocked by how many um, builds and videos I got. Absolutely crazy. So thank you so much. It was a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> I actually got a little bit emotional. <laughs> it's just amazing. So thank you so much for all your builds and that. Now, sadly, because I got so many, I won't be able to show every single one in the video, but I hope to show as many as I possibly can. Oh, that's bizarre. I generally thought I'd get about three, but to get how many I've got, it's absolutely mental. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and by the way, the deadline for sending in your worlds ends tomorrow, if that's okay. So it ends Friday. 
So you can send them in Friday, that's fine, but Saturday may be too late. It might not be, but it might be. So just bear that in mind to get your to get your words in quickly. <laughs> um over there now? No. No, do I have to go back on up we go back on there? So like I said, I have got a few questions on Twitter and loads on YouTube, so I will get one of those rolling in a second. I'm just going <laughs> to beat this one first. <laughs> the sound effects really do help, by the way. If you ever tried it, try it. The sound effects are very good. Um, I presume I just jump from here. Hey, right. Question time. Why have you not done a Let's Play? <laughs> now I get that question all the time, literally all the time. Why do I not do a survival Let's Play or, you know, you should do one, people saying that. But the basic, the truth is, I probably would do one, but I just don't get the time. And that is sadly the truth. <laughs> I just do not get the time to do a Let's Play. I don't think people realise how long a Let's Play would take. If you think about what you could do in a survival world in an hour, very little, and that wouldn't make a very interesting video. So it'd be even longer than that. I'd have to play for many hours, and unfortunately I just don't get that enough time to record. I don't get that recording time, I'm afraid, so it just, it wouldn't be conducive to my schedule. Ooh, another egg. This is going well so far. Ooh. <laughs> he says that and falls over. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, good. Um, another egg. That's not saying I won't do one in the future, okay? But at the moment, no. Sorry. <laughs> what was the other question here? Um, what is your favourite Western component? Oh, come on. You should know that. What's my favourite component? It's got to be the Observer. <laughs> Why is it my favourite component? I think it's because it's so versatile. It's just, it's really good. <laughs> it's great for compacting too. Because, you know, redstone dust takes up the block it's on, plus thing, you can't put many things near it because it's going to interact with other things. But then an observer, it doesn't interact with anything apart from the thing it's in front of, and of course, observers looking at the observer. Yeah, I love observers. What's one Java feature you wish Bedrock had? Ooh. What's one feature that Java had? Now, I think I answered this in my last Q&A, didn't I? And I said, pistons spitting out their blocks. And that's still the same response. I would love pistons to spit out their blocks. But not all the time. That creepy noise. <laughs> Robo Time Man, is that you? <laughs> yes. I thought it would break up your constant droning. All right. Don't get rude. Oof. You asked for it. <gasps> ah, there we are. Perfect. Yeah, I think I said in that video that I would like it. But only if it was toggleable. Because it... Ah, oh, there's the egg. Because it would break so many of my builds, and yeah, I, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I would like, um, yeah, I'd like them to spit out their blocks, but only, only sometimes. So maybe you could, what's this? Oh, maybe like there's a setting you could change. We should have added what? <laughs> okay. Can I not get up here? Oh, there we are. Yeah, so only if you could turn it on and off, then I would say, yes, I definitely want it. But apart from that, no. I quite like redstone being quite simple, that it forces you to be creative. So no, I don't want too many things. Can I make up? Can I make it up there? Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Up here. Hey, there we are. Right. Another question. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I dropped my phone. That was smart. <laughs> what kind of entertainment do you like? Um, sports. Love sports. Love music. Um, I'm not a massive film person. I know some people love films and they watch loads of films. I'm not... Yeah, they're all right. I'll watch one, but... It's not my favourite, I don't think. Oh. There we are. Ooh, it's the chariot. <laughs> if you get that, put the link in the description. <laughs> Shush. What? Ooh. Ooh. What the 
What's that? Can I can I even get there? Hey. Okay. Oh. How does one Oh, like that. <laughs> very smart. Okay. All very dark and dingy. <laughs> right, now another question. What would you do if the Robo Tie Man gained access to a TARDIS? <laughs> to be fair, three years ago, I never thought I'd be getting asked that question. <laughs> um, Robo Tie Man, what would you do if you gained a got a got a TARDIS? What would you do? What? Oh, hold on, he's coming over. What about a TARDIS? Yeah, someone asked. What, what would you do if you gained access to a TARDIS? I would go back and rule every kingdom. Every single person would know and cower at my name. Perfection. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why we don't let him have a TARDIS. <laughs> Far too dangerous. Hogs Games died just cause. Okay. Spoopy. Okay, that might be a little... Ooh, is that the egg? Can I have the egg, please? Oh, no, I just... I threw the egg. Can I have that egg? Ooh! Aha! Oh, no, that means if I even... That means if I get them all, I'll only have... 99. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah, basically... Don't let the robot tie man near a TARDIS. How old were you when you first wore your first bow tie? <laughs> I love someone's response under this. They said he was born wearing a bow tie. If only that were true. <laughs> no, um, it was actually quite late. It was actually quite late in life. <laughs> quite late in life. I'm only young, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but maybe when I was about 19. Yeah, 18, 19, 20 around then. Yeah, no, I haven't been wearing bow ties very long, but I do love them. I've, I've loved them for years. Uh, over here. Brilliant. Oh, that's a good question. Do you ever use bugs, not for duplication ones, for redstone? Do I ever use bug, bugs for redstone? No. Or I don't try to, because basically bugs are bugs. <laughs> so, I know it's really obvious, but you know what I mean. Basically, they will get removed from the game at some point. So I don't want to build something and then it break instantly. Saying that, I did build the sand door, which broke literally. <laughs> um, how many days after I uploaded it? About three weeks. <laughs> it literally broke immediately after I um, created it, which was so sad. That's not a bug, though. That's just rest time being stupid. Um, where's the egg? Aha. Uh -huh. Through here. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. What do you think of the parkour so far? I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I'm really liking this parkour. It's not too hard. That's why I quite like it. I don't, I don't, I'm not good at hard parkour. Like, you know, Neo jumps and all that. I'm not good at that. But this type of thing, yeah, I'm okay at. I don't mind this. Um, Where's the egg on this one? You around here? Ha ha ha. Right, next question. Have you ever thought about doing a tutorial on builds that aren't redstone? I know that you are an amazing builder. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, yes, I have thought about it. Not because I'm an amazing <laughs> builder. I, don't, I think I'm okay. <laughs> but I don't know how I would do it. See, with redstone, it's really quite easy because a lot of redstone contraptions aren't that large. So, so you can do the um, tutorial fairly quickly. But, but really large builds like um, proper buildings... They would take forever, especially me. I just, yeah, I'm not sure how I'd do it. Would I do a block for block tutorial or would I do a kind of like, you know when Gurian does those tutorials? Well, he used to do it quite a lot where he kind of doesn't do it block for block, but kind of teaches you the style to do things. Maybe I'd do one like that, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how I'd do it. Let me know how you think I should do it. Ah, there it is. That's smart. Right. Back to the parkour. Yeah. 
Boom. Oh my word. <laughs> How horrible. Aha. There you are. Brilliant. Greatest, my greatest fears, Minecraft and in real life. Minecraft fears? Um, not getting a contraption to work ever. <laughs> That's a very big fear. <laughs> Creepers are pretty scary. Especially when you're um, not expecting them. They make you jump. I don't like ghasts either. I, I don't mind ghasts when I'm on the land. But <laughs> if I'm ever bridging across the uh, the lava, I really don't like ghasts. They're so irritating. <laughs> they're a great mob. I love, mo I love them in the sense that they're a really clever mob. But they are... Highly irritating. Do you reckon the egg is going to be one of these furnaces? <laughs> Not Chicky's egg. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh, get me out of the cobweb. Come on. Thank you. Can I press this one? Can't press it. How weird. Nope, not there. Why did you have to put cobwebs everywhere? Whoever's idea it was to make cobwebs this slow is an evil person. Come on, this is so painful. My greatest fears in life, though. Um, ah, there it is. Um, I don't like spiders, as I've said before. Um, I don't like heights either. I'm very scared of heights. Where do I go now? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Honestly, I get a bit... I get a bit of vertigo standing on a chair. <laughs> it's quite pathetic, really. Um, apart from that, yeah... Not many. Darn it. <laughs> Someone's suggestion for the topic was talk about talk about what you're doing, but in a foreign language for a few minutes. <laughs> Honestly, I barely speak English, <laughs> so doing it in a different different language would be awful. I used to do French, but not not a great deal. I really don't like ladder jumps. That's another fear. <laughs> I don't like ladder jumps. Right. Come on. That's it. Oh, how do you do these? Good. Ah. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Someone said, talk about the Robo Time Man. Um, I should talk about myself. What? It's only fair. Okay, yeah, you, yeah, you carry on. I'll, I'll just continue doing this and you talk for a little while. As it gets me through this level, which is quite good. As you all know, I was created. Created by the most crazed mind that ever lived. It's not what you would call a good upbringing. Ah. Sorry, sorry. sorry Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, from an early age I was taught to do only one thing. I was sent away for years at a time mm. to learn all about the skills which I was created to deploy. These skills will soon lead me to the top of this small world. To be the supreme power in all human... All right, okay. Enough, <laughs> enough of the world domination stuff. Come on, just, just be kind. <laughs> hmm, you know I find that hard. But since you allowed me to stay at your home again, I will try. Being kind was never in my original design. It's not me. That's to be expected when you are created in a lab. That is the cold truth. I will never know true emotion. Anyway, I think I have had enough talking to you worthless. I mean, lovely people. Is he, go is he gone? All right, yeah. yeah. Sadly, he actually doesn't know the truth where he's from. Um, he, think <laughs> he thinks he was created in a lab somewhere, but no. I, I can't tell him. I think the truth would break his little heart. Poor guy. I might. I. I had to tell you one day, but yeah, quite sad. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin a nice, a nice parkour map with that sad story. All right, that's all the questions and topics on Twitter. But now moving over to YouTube, which I had loads on. <laughs> so just bear with me a second. Just when I find this, just 
just enjoy this chicken dancing. Have you tried playing other Minecraft games such as Dungeons and Earth? Uh, no. No, I haven't. <laughs> That's basically it. No, I haven't. Um, Dungeons it doesn't really appeal to me. And nor does Earth, really, funny enough. It probably would appeal to me if I played it, but no, I, I think I prefer the, the proper the proper edition. <laughs> Why did you choose Bowtie Man as your Minecraft username? Does it have anything to do with the other famous Bowtie person, Matt Smith? Um, <laughs> I love how you put me in the same... That is creepy. I love how you put me in the same bracket as Matt Smith. <laughs> First of all, I am not famous, nor do I want to be. I don't know how I came up with the name Bowtie Man. I remember sitting down at the computer when it asked me to put my name and just not knowing what to put. I remember saying out loud, oh, try put Bowtie Man and then thinking, oh, that's not very good. Uh, and, then try, and then thinking, oh, I'll think of a better one. But yeah, that was it. I, I put Bowtie Man as kind of a placeholder because I thought to myself, well, if I don't like it in the future, I can always change it. But then I never did, and I've grown to love it. <laughs> so, you know, it's bizarre that, isn't it? Yeah, I, it might be subconsciously to do with Matt Smith and the Doctor, but I don't know. I really don't know. I like the name, though. At, th at first, I thought it was a bit long. You know, m most people are called, you know, Mumbo Jumbo. It's quite short. Grian. Um... Iskow, they're all quite short. Bowtie Man seems to be quite long, but I don't mind, actually, because quite a lot of people just call me Bowtie, which I quite like. <laughs> Among other names, to be fair. <gasps> oh, this is hard, sorry. I need to concentrate for a second. Oh, dear, where now? Do you reckon that would be slime? And that? To get into that tree or up there? Right, I'm gonna go over there. Let's try this. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Talk about sports and weird stories about random stuff that happened to you. Do you know when someone says, tell me a story about you, everything about you, just you forget. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, your life becomes extremely boring <laughs> because you just literally forget everything. Ooh. Don't go to the fire. Ha <laughs> ha. That was close. Um... Tell me about weird it's about sports. So as you know, I'm a massive Arsenal fan. That's not particularly weird, although to some people that might sound weird. Um, I love yeah, I like I love watching sports. But weird stories regarding was it slime? Oh, that's strange. Weird stories regarding sports, or just weird stories in general. You've heard about the one where I jumped off my bunk bed thing. I was Buzz Lightyear. Um, that was actually the same bunk bed <laughs> where I um. Decided to come down the bunk bed. Remember, I, this was when I was very small. And the bunk bed was right next to a wall, okay? So just picture the bunk bed right next to a wall. And I decided to go down the ladder backwards. So to go front facing outward. And what happened, basically... That was a good jump. Look at that. Basically, what happened was I got my wrist caught in between the wall and the frame. <laughs> then I slipped. And basically... Oh, that's cool. And basically, I slipped off the ladder, and then I was hanging from my bunk bed, from my wrist, dangling from the <laughs> dangling two feet above the ground, and screaming my head off. Apparently, <laughs> I mean, what an idiot! Um, it turns out I just sprained my wrist, so well, it wasn't too bad. And that's something I've never broken a bone, even though I am probably the most clumsy person alive. <laughs> I'm not clumsy with dropping things from that, but I, I pretty much always injure myself. But I've never broken a bone, so it's pretty good. Cool, that's a hard jump. Can I do that? <gasps> oh, that is hard. Can I just say that the sound effects of these bones are brilliant. I love the new sound effects. So good. Hmm. Oh, I'm a little confused. Ah, there we are. There we are, there we are, there we are. 
Someone else asked, if you could make one redstone contraption in Minecraft forever, what would it be? Ah, egg. Now, unless, if you're talking about a genre, a genre of build, I'd probably say piston doors because I love making piston doors. I love piston doors. I just like using them. I think they're great. Um, probably the most practical thing you'd say is farms, but I don't think I play survival enough to warrant that. I think piston doors are my favorite. But if it's one particular door, um, four by four flush, three by three, um, probably the three by three. It's just, it's just universal. It's not expensive. It's pretty, it's pretty fast. It just looks good. Yeah, I think the three by three. That's a hard question though. That's a hard jump. Sorry, bear with me a second. This is where the rage starts happening. <laughs> Come on, that's it. That's better. It's not Chicky's Egg, so where is Chicky's Egg? Ah, there it is. Brilliant. Right, next question. Um, Talk about how your life's going recently. Um, Slowly, because of uh, this... Um. It's only because of COVID. It's fine though. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> I'm alright. Yeah, that's cool. Where's the egg though? Ah, oh, there it is. I like how they place these eggs actually not very hard to find. Because if they're hard to find, I think I might cry. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible jump. <laughs> that was shocking. <laughs> Let's try it again. That's better. Got it there. Brilliant. Ha ha, I see you. <laughs> Talk about Doctor Who. <laughs> I love how you guys know I love Doctor Who. Doctor Who by what I say. Yeah, I, I really do love Doctor Who. Um, I started watching Doctor Who. My first, I think, what was my first one I watched? I think it was... Yeah, um, what is it called? Midnight? I think Midnight was my first one, which is, a bit, which is a bit of an odd one to start with. But yeah, I started with David Tennant, then I worked back from BBC iPlayer and Netflix and all that. Oh. Yeah, I love Doctor Who. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, up here? Yes. Where's the egg on this one, though? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I absolutely love Doctor Who. I'm not a huge fan of the new series. I don't mind Jodie Whittaker, she's okay. Um, but I find the script writing a little irritating. <laughs> I don't mind it being like a history lesson, but to be like a life lesson every single episode, it feels a little forced. I don't mind life lessons being in TV shows at all, you know. Um, but, yeah, it feels a little force with Doctor Who. I mean, I like Graham. Um, who is it? Bradley Wick uh, Bradley Wiggins? He's a cyclist. <laughs> Bradley Walsh, sorry. I love, I love Graham. Um, Yaz is okay. And Ryan's alright. Jodie's alright. But again, I don't think the writing is giving her character j enough justice. That was the great about David Tennant's era. David Tennant was fantastic, of course, but so was the writing. Well, a lot of the writing was great. There was a few shoddy episodes, but most of them were quite brilliant. Aha. Uh -huh. um, Matt Smith, obviously, was great. Obviously, he wore a bow tie, so he's obviously one of my favourites. <laughs> he's not the, my favourite, though. I've got to say David Tennant is my favourite. Peter Capaldi was all right, but again, sometimes the writing let him down. I didn't really get into his first series when he first started, but when he, when we kind of accepted his character a little bit more, I think it was better. Um. Oh, down here. Oh, darn it! I, I crouched like an idiot. Especially the um, the speech he did on the the Zygon. Is it the Zygon invasion? Is that the one that's called? That was brilliant. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, he was definitely 
the speech doctor, wasn't he? <laughs> and he had great eyebrows. <laughs> Speaking to one person to another with hefty eyebrows, he has got quite good eyebrows. <laughs> there it is. Right, next question. I can't I can't be speaking about Doctor Who this whole time. Love you, be bored. Um what would your reaction be if Arsenal finished in the top four next season? <laughs> well, I think the um I think the contingency is a remote one. I don't think we will. If we do, I will be very happy indeed. Huh. That's cool. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Do I have to go down here? Oh, no. Ah. Hey? So how do I get through there in time? I can't jump back there, can I? I can't jump on the... Can I bounce on these? Ooh, this has got me stumped. Hmm. Oh, like that. <laughs> that wasn't actually that hard. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very, very surprised if we do get top four. Um, We have played a lot better under Arteta. I mean, you saw me on Twitter saying, <laughs> raving about the Liverpool win. That was fantastic. And didn't I say... I said in that twit. I said in that twit. <laughs> I said in that Twitter. Sorry. I said in that Twitter. Um, what do you call it? Twitter post. I said in that post. You watch. We'll beat. We've beaten Liverpool. We've beaten Man City, but we'll lose to Aston Villa. And guess what? We lost to Aston Villa. Obviously, because <laughs> that's what Arsenal do. Oh, it's so annoying. We're playing Watford later today. Um, I hope we win that. Oh, done. But yeah, I think I think we've got a chance at the FA Cup. I'm not sure though. I mean, Chelsea are very good when they're good. I know that's a weird thing to say, but they when they play well, they're brilliant at the moment. But when they play badly, that's when we can take their chance. I mean, Pulisic, great player. He's a, he's been a great signing for them. Um, Mason Mount, I love Mason Mount. I think he's great. Williams quite good, obviously. Yeah. And obviously, Frank Lampard has done a fantastic job. Ooh, I'm in a cupboard. <laughs> Does this count as Dreaming Part 3, or do we need to make it again? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I think we might have a chance at the FA Cup, I hope. Um, I mean, I won't be severely disappointed if we lose it, because Chelsea are a great side, so... In the TV. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is there another egg in here? Or not? Do you reckon there'll be another egg in here? Um. Why can't I get up there? Oh, you can't. An egg on this side of it. Okay, perhaps there's not an egg in this bit of the room. Oh, I want to miss one. I don't think there is. I can't see it. Hmm. Try to see a lever. I have to flick it. <laughs> just one second. I'm just going to check my recording. So again, enjoy the chicken dancing. Okay, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the chicken. <laughs> What's the most unexplainable thing you've, that's happened to you in Minecraft? Um, probably when something a build works first time. That is just <laughs> that catches you off guard. <laughs> Actually, no, that's never happened. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably something I just can't remember. To be fair, probably something has happened, which is strange. But where do I go? Sorry, where where am I meant to? My oh, you idiot! <laughs> oh, oh! Somebody else asks. 
Who actually is the Robo Time Man and why does he try to ruin everything you do? Hey, he's not he's not here for Zeno, no. Um He wasn't always like that, just just saying. He was yeah, um like I said, it's it's a really sad I'm not gonna say it now because it's just a it's just a sad story. It, but yeah, he wasn't always like that. Just look back um to my video with the lever lock. He was different. He was different, and um, yeah, something changed. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Anyway, sorry, sorry, just rem reminiscing there. <laughs> Somebody asked, if you could either be able to know what you need to fix in your redstone contraptions, or never make a mistake in grammar, which would you choose? Oh, it's got to be the first one. <laughs> To, to always be able to fix my contraptions and make epic redstone builds. That'd be amazing. I would love that. I definitely need to improve my redstone knowledge. So that would that would be great. Um, Yeah, I'm not too bothered about making grammar mistakes. Everyone does it, so I think it'd be a bit weird if someone didn't, to be fair. Someone asked a question all about music. What side of music do I listen to? Do you play an instrument? And what is your favorite band? Um, yes, I love listening to music. Definitely. I love uh, quite a bizarre <laughs> mix of genres. I'm not a massive fan of a lot of modern music. Um, not really. I don't really like rap. I don't really like pop much. Certain pop's okay. But others, no. <laughs> I quite like rock. Um, I like alternative. I like classical music as well, which is bizarre for someone my age, but I do. <laughs> and she's saying that. It's not bizarre, but it is. Like, you ask most people what's your type of, what type of music you listen to. Not many people my age will say classic music, classical music. But I do like classical music. Um, I haven't found the egg in this room. You know what? I might actually have to give up on this egg challenge because this video is going to go on for far too long, otherwise. <laughs> if I see one like that, I'll try and get it. Oh, I do what? I'll run. I'll go through this parkour map like usual, and then later, I'll um, maybe I'll try and get the eggs. I'll put it in the video somewhere. Maybe the end. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. Hmm. This is like a really irritating maze. <laughs> oh, where am I going? Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Aha. There's a villager I heard. My brother. <laughs> yes. Did someone summon my name? No, I wasn't talking to you, Robo Time Man. Oh, I thought someone called me. What a waste right. of my time. Another question, another question, another question. Oh yeah, sorry about the music. Yeah, and um, I do play a little bit of the piano as well. And a little bit of the drums, but I have, like I, I said in my previous q and I have recently sold my drum kit because I just don't play it enough. Just taking up space. <laughs> Ooh. Aha. Hey, that's cool. Um, what's my favorite band? I really have a favorite band. I like Muse as a rock band. They're pretty good. What else do I like? I can't like, I like, I like so many different variations. It's, it's hard to say my favorite. Sorry, one second. How do I get up there? Aha, like that. Brilliant. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Shout out to all you Australians. 
who are watching. If if there's any Australians watching, can you comment below? Say shout out from Australia. That'd be really awesome. That's mental to think about, though, isn't it? To think that somebody literally on the other side of the world from me would be watching one of my videos. That that blows my mind. Actually, when I look on my YouTube statistics and look about where you guys are watching from, oh darn, it's absolutely crazy. It really blows my mind. That does. It's, it's crazy. It's like Indonesia, Vietnam. Like some, some really like far away faces from England, as far as you can go. Where do I go now? Oh. What a spoon. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Then jump from here. Yes. Was that, was that say welcome to Portugal? I think it did. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just trying to find a, one particular comment. Someone uh, asked, well, someone suggested that because I'm bad at parkour, that every time I make a successful jump, it plays the yay sound effect. Should we just try that? Let's see how annoying it gets. Ready? Okay. Yay! <laughs> Obviously, I can't hear it, but I'm just imagining. Yay! 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 Is it getting annoying yet? <laughs> oh, welcome to Canada. Awesome. The home of maple syrup. <laughs> Canada is such a beautiful country. Do you mind going there one day? Because it's... Views must be fantastic. Um, where do I go? Oh no, did that fall? Does that mean I can't make it up here now? Oh no, I think I broke it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go into game mode. Just one second. Oh, it's not letting me. It's not letting me go into game mode. Oh no. I'm not too short to do now. Okay, I might have to reset it. Oh, that means I've lost all the eggs. How annoying. That's a game as a game ender, that is. Oh no. Oh 